Excuse me. I wanted to wipe that smug, self-satisfied grin off your face. I'm sorry, Deborah. I want a divorce. Matt already said he doesn't want another lodger. Yeah, but I'm not just a lodger, am I? I'm your partner. Oh, no. oh, no. Steady on, steady on. He's my best friend, Rick. You are gorgeous. Oh, Not a rebel. Oh, I'm asking you to come with me, Anna. Are you serious? I've never been more serious about anything. When's the next meet? Not for a couple of weeks. There shouldn't be a problem, should there? You are a beautiful woman, Sarah. But I think we should just try and forget about it. You've got this all wrong. Really? Yes. £32, please. How much is mine, love? Oh, uh, now, you're on special offer. Buy four, get one free. Oh, great. Are you ready, then. Bianca? Where's the cotton wool? Well, I've got some. There should be some there. Mr Knight, room one. Guinea pig with diarrhoea. Can I help you with something? I'm just checking the rotor. I need to be away by one. You never said. Well, I'm allowed me dinner, aren't I? Hello. Oh, yes. Would you mind holding the line a moment, please? Is this all there is? I'm halfway through when you're cleaning. I'm almost out of bandages, too. Yes, I know. It's all under control, thank you. Have you cleaned the kennels yet? Ooh, she's doing my head in. Anyway, you look a bit glam today. Am I? You see, he was fine last night. Now, today, he won't let Amy anywhere near it. OK, do you want to take him inside, Amy, out of the light? Yeah, sure, yes. I'm hoping to hunt him at the weekend. I'll have to see if there's any damage to the cornea. My best hunter, you know. If there is, he'll need to be kept in. Sorry, excuse me. I'll make a start. Hello? William, it's Deborah. Is this a good time? Yes, of course. What can I do for you? I just wanted you to know I've spoken to the caterers and they promised to be with you first thing. Marvellous. Uh, what time, roughly, do you think? 11, 10? Uh, no later than 10, absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Anna, I don't suppose you've got any spare zinc tape? I'll swap you for bandages. Sorry. This is ridiculous. Did the vet wear order go in this week? Of course. Well, it's just that we're running really low on supplies and they've never let us down before. I know. I'm, I'm dealing with it. Or well, perhaps I should call them. I think I can handle it, thank you. Start day through. Have you given it any more thought? I can't just go someone enough to Botswana. It's not right for me or the children. Well, what am I going to tell them then? I don't know. You decide. This could be so good for us, Anna. For all of us. I want us to be a family again. It's not that simple, Tom. I think going off to Africa isn't the answer. Fancy a drink after work? I said I'd go out with Rick. I need to speak to your manager. You should have the house to yourself. That's just not good enough, though, is it? What's up with Lady Muck? I am trying to run a veterinary God here. Yes. Of course I'll be there. <laughs> Wait, where do you want this lot put in, then? Uh, dump them over there, and I'll take them through to the kennel. It's just, I've never done this sort of thing before. <gasps> Look, lovey, I'm going to have to go. Uh, don't be so paranoid. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be wearing um, a red top, red uh, coat. Think lady in red. Oh, bye. Got get any sense out of those vetware people. Can you pass me those with the scissors? So I'm going to have to go down and talk to the manager. Yeah, fine. Margaret can cover. Right, just stay below. Ah, oh, I need you to cover reception. How long for? I've no idea. But I'm going out. 
Well, I'm afraid it's unavoidable. I've made plans. I told you earlier. Well, I'm very sorry. I can't see any internal problems. Thank goodness for that. But the fluorescene's showing a small ulcer on his cornea. Small? Take a couple of weeks to heal. Oh, damn. Well, I suppose that means Theseus gets a run, then. I'll make sure he's ready. Right, these should help to soothe it, and these are antibiotics. He'll need them four times a day. Okay. I'll check up on him in a few days. OK. Well, I'm glad it was you who came out. Oh, then, please. I wanted to ask you something, actually, about Deborah. Deborah? Yeah, she's been such a help recently. I don't know what I'd have done without her, to be honest. What do you mean? Oh, she's been an absolute godsend. Parties, shoots, keeping the books in shape. And uh, then there's this weekend, of course. That's the first I've heard. Oh, uh, I haven't dropped her in it, have I? No, no. Good. Now, my only concern is how she's coping. I mean, she's under an immense amount of pressure. Well, that's her business, really, isn't it? Oh, indeed. So, is everything still running smoothly at the surgery? Well, it is since Deborah came back to us, yeah. I imagine she's got some very good systems in place. We certainly struggled without her. That was different, though, wasn't it? It was very unplanned. What are you trying to say, William? Nothing. Are you trying to steal her away? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Best not to say anything, though, eh? I haven't quite made my mind up. Yeah, best not. <laughs> Just put him down on the table, thank you. Here we go. What's his name? Sam. Come on, Sam. Let's have a look, boy. Have you got him, Claire? Yeah, I tried as you can. to get to him, but I was too slow. Open wide. Let's have a little look. No. It's not an excuse. I was really looking forward. Oh, well, I'm sorry if you feel like that. But there's now I can do. No. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bye. How is he? Fine, I've given him a pre-med. He must have thought it were a toy or something. I came in and he'd managed to get onto the shredder. He was trying to get a, a little bit of paper that was stuck out. And I, I tried to shout, but it was too late. It, it turns on automatic, see? They all do, don't they? Oh, he won't have to be put down, will he? I need to see how much damage there is. Oh, God. I'm going to give him an anaesthetic and have a proper look at it, all right? Thanks. We'll give you a call as soon as we know anything. Can I wait? Well, it might take a while. I don't care. Oh, Peggy's just boiled. I think we might have a problem. Why? What's wrong? Can you give us a minute, Matt? Right. Deborah's been moonlighting for Montgomery. What? Apparently she's been organising his social life for the past couple of weeks. Why? What did he say? Well, nothing specific, but he was definitely fishing. I'll have a word with her. Oh, no, no, no. He was very clear he didn't want us to do that. Something about he's not made up his mind yet. Anyway, she's not even here. She's probably out tracking down a fox for the festivities. Oh. Don't get on your soapbox, Sarah. It's barbaric. Yes, I know, but it's one of our best clients. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just can't believe he'd do this to us. Well, I'm sure he'll give us time to find someone else. It might even improve things a bit. How can you even think that? Well, there's just so much tension around here sometimes, what with Rick, Claire and Deborah sniping at each other. It might actually make it easier if one of them is out of the picture. Fine. Just don't come crying to me when the place has fallen to bits again. Look, Sarah, are you OK? Is there something wrong with you and Adrian? I'm just concerned about the practice.
Can I help you, love? You're a bit early for afternoon surgery. I was hoping to have a word with Margaret. Specifically. I'm sorry. Alan! I don't think I've been very fair on you. Only I thought you were giving me the brush off. No! So, when I rang off, I thought, well, you've blown that, Alan. But, uh, when I looked at your picture again, I, I knew I'd never forgive myself if I didn't give it another go. <laughs> Here, let me open this. I hope you haven't gone to too much trouble. No, no, just a little something now. What have you got there? Surprise. <gasps> oh, I... You said you like romantic gestures. In your profile. I'm gonna go and stock up. <clears throat> Matthew, what can I get you? I just need to get the rooms ready. Well, help yourself. Is he going to be all right? Um, should be able to suture it. Can you get me some two metric, please? Rick, look, I know we're supposed to be going out tonight. But you don't want to. That's not what I was going to say. Will you stop being so insecure for a minute? Sorry. We have to try and get some quality time together. We never seem to be alone anywhere. Well, why don't we go away for a few days? That's not what I'm saying, Rick. Why not? It'll do us good. I need us to find somewhere to talk. Somewhere we're not going to be constantly interrupted. Oh! I thought I knew I was operating today. Uh, it, it, it was an emergency. Is Matthew not around? What do you want, Deborah? I brought these in for Anna. Just put them over there. Seems to be some sort of picnic going on in reception. Honestly, you leave the place for two minutes. Was there something else? Yes, are you all right to have Harriet this evening? Uh, this isn't the best time to talk. Only I have to go out. I'm sure she'd want to spend some time with you. Right. Only I do need to, um... So, shall I drop her on my way? Uh, Claire, can you go and tell Natalie I'm going to suit your Sam's tongue and keep him in overnight? If you want me to go, Rick, just say so. You don't need to make excuses about it. Oh, dear. I do hope I haven't caused any problems. Tonight's a bit tricky, Deborah. Well, either you want to see your daughter or you don't. Did you still fancy that drink later? Thought you were going out with Rick. That was before Deborah snapped her fingers. <laughs> oh, hey, you have got to see this. Mags? has only gone and bagged herself a bloke. No. Yeah. <gasps> and, uh, no, it was just amazing, because there was so much food there. Did you get that quiet? And, um, was, uh, oh, nice. Do you have to be quite so childish? <laughs> hey, something else you might like to know. Go on. The Ice Queen is leaving us. Deborah. Yep. Right. I thought you'd be chuffed to bits. No, I am. It's just, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Afternoon surgery is about to start, and it's not very hygienic to be eating around animals. Oh, well, best be off. <clears throat> I haven't got into any trouble, have I? Don't worry about her. Matt reckons she's going. Well, perhaps we could meet up properly later. Let me see what you look like out of those overalls. Hey! <laughs> I meant in your civvies. Uh, well, there's a pub down in the village. We could go for a drink. The bull? Yeah. Do you fancy it? 
why not? Oh, oh, oh. Who's the mystery man? Oh, where's my fan? Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Yeah. He said something about a picture. Have you been putting cards in phone boxes again? Oh, oh, Shelley set it up, if you must know, on the computer. Internet dating? Oh, you sly oh. old horse. And he winked at me, so I winked back. Huh? But it's how it works. Everyone's got a profile, and if you see someone you like, you just click this button to wink at them. Do you know what she's going on about? It's dead easy. So, I got this message saying he'd winked at me. And when I looked his profile up, it said he was an animal lover. So I went back, and then he sent me a message. And I thought, what the hell? <laughs> How long have you been winking at each other? About three and a half weeks. Well, good for you. Maybe I should give it a go. <laughs> William, what can I do for you? He's not swimming right. It's like he's drunk. His eyes look a bit sunken. What do you feed him? Just white bait. Ah, oh, that's probably it, then. <laughs> you need to give him a more balanced diet. Worms, leaves, that kind of thing. Oh, I didn't know. We'll give you a care guide. I think he's got thiamine deficiency. Can you get me some B1, please? Yeah. Anna, I need to get away. Uh, did you sort out that business for vetware? Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, now, I have an appointment. Well, did you get them to give us a discount? I mean, they can't be letting us down like that. Yeah, it's all in hand. Well, maybe I should call them. No, that's not necessary. <sighs> really, Anna, what's the point of having a practice liaison manager if you... Fine. Fine. So I presume it's all right to leave a few minutes early? Yes. Just let me know what that way say. <sighs> give us a quick waff with that, love, would you? It's running off as quick as I'm putting it on. Oh, who's the lucky chap? We should make a proper night of it, eh? Looks like you need to get completely hammered. Thought we were supposed to be going out. Yes, but you're seeing Harriet now. That doesn't mean we can't do something later. I'm sorry, I didn't know what time you'd be back. Didn't bother to ask, you mean. <laughs> Come on, man. You all right, Claire? Yeah, yeah, I'll see you down there. Listen, if you'd rather spend your so-called quality time with Matt, don't let me stop you. Oh, I won't. Because me and Matt, we get plenty of time alone together. What do you think we get up to every night? Claire, oh, don't God, give our hands off each other. Just God is fantastic. Get off me, ba Claire, I didn't mean that. I'm so sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? Do you know what, Rick? You're seriously losing it. William, I'm so sorry. That's fine, don't worry. I got here as soon as I could. Well, I don't know how you manage at all, to be honest, juggling so many things at once. We all have our cards to play, don't we? Yes, Thank I you. suppose we do. As long as you know how much I appreciate your time, you really have been a marvel, you know? Nonsense. I mean it. Did the caterers forward the preliminary invoice? Oh, um. Uh, it's... it's... Uh, there. It's, uh... They really have been very good. They even arranged the stirrup cup. We absolutely must use them again. Everyone's confirmed I've drawn up a list and I think we should just run through the programme once more. Shall we do that over a drink? Oh, yes. That would be lovely. I'm gonna kill him. No. You don't even know about it, all right? I can't just stand by and let him... I swear I will never trust you again if you say anything, Matt. You can't do that, though. I only told you because I needed someone Oh, to... wake up, Claire. No one should treat you like that. He didn't mean to do it. He didn't hear what I was saying. He hit you. That's all that matters. I shouldn't have pushed him so far, though. He's been having a hard time. <sighs> you sound like those women you're always shouting at on telly. Oh, it's nothing like that. Isn't it? No. Anyway... Anyway, how come you're not round at Anna's tonight, hmm? No reason. Everything all right with you two, though? Yeah. 
Just giving her a bit of space. Sounds ominous. Not really. I want to make a real go of things with her. I need to give her time to decide if she wants that too. That's £3.18. What have you done to Rick then? You were in a right strop. Oh, nothing. I'm going to grab that table over there, okay? Studying that profile thing. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I still think you should let me have a word with him at least. Oh, just stop going on about it, Matt. Claire! You! Come on over and meet Alan. Well, come on then. Oh, look, stop worrying. I can handle Rick. Right, as long as you're sure. Yes. No, but you've got to promise me that you'll tell me if he ever, ever. He won't. Even so. Okay, I promise. As long as you promise to stop sulking about it, OK? OK. Now are we going to go meet this poor bloke that Mags has snared or what? Hiya. Claire, this is Alan. Alan, Claire. Hello. <laughs> and this is Matt. Oh, hi. You, right, you sort of met him at lunchtime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he tell you about Deborah? Oh, yeah, I know. The million dollar question is, does she finally become the lady of the manor? <laughs> Do you think he fancies her? No. I don't know. She scrubs up all right. Something you want to tell us, Matthew? No, I'm just saying. Well, she's certainly stuck up enough for him. Who is she? Our practice liaison manager. That Mardi Cow at lunchtime. Oh. She's been organising a hunt for the local knobs. A hunt? Where at? They probably won't even need dogs, just get Deborah to dish out a few death stares. <laughs> Don't any of you take this seriously? I mean, you work with animals, for God's sakes. It'll just be a drag hunt. Well, surely you can't believe that. Why not? What do you mean? Well, it's just an excuse. Well, all I know is... I'm sorry, I go to these so-called drag hunts. And the dogs are still killing the foxes, believe you me. Why do you go to the hunts? I'm not saying I agree with it. You a sap? No, no, I'm an animal lover. I'll prove it to you, if you like. Are you up for a bit of monitoring? Monitoring? What's that? Well, there's nothing to it, really. Just making sure that the foxes are OK. You know, putting down a few false trails, checking to see the earths haven't been blocked, evening things up, if you like. Oh, isn't that a bit dangerous? Of course not. You'd think they'd be grateful. If it is just a drag hunt, makes things more interesting for them, doesn't it? Bit heavy for me. <laughs> Come on, Matt. We'll leave you to it. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, see you later, then. Oh, bye, lovey. So, what do you say? Well, what did she mean? A bit heavy. Oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You know, you've got lovely eyes. Oh. Have you asked Claire to marry you yet? It's not that simple, though. You are gonna know, aren't you? I don't know. Maybe. What? So we've had all this just so you can have a quick shag? Harriet? Make sure we're buying the sports car. That's enough. You just show a bit of respect. Hey! You come straight back here, you picked it! Harriet! Harriet, darling. I'm going to be a bit late. Whatever. William's asked me to stay for a drink. OK, Mum. Where are you? Harriet? Harriet? Harriet, it's getting late. We're going home now. It's not your home anymore, though, is it? I'm not having your mother accusing me of keeping you out all hours. You don't need to worry. She's spending a lovely evening with William. William? Lord Montgomery. I don't think anyone really needs you anymore, Dad. Well, I'll be glad when this weekend's over. But you will be too. I've worked you far too hard. <laughs> Not at all. I don't know how I ever coped without you. 
Harriet all right? Oh, yes, yes. Her father's taken her out. Oh, that's nice. And you're left wondering why he gets to do all the fun stuff. Yes. Ghastly situation. Ah, oh, Sebastian. Assuage your guilt successfully? I wouldn't put it quite like that. So, what is this year's excuse? I'm a big boy now, William. Besides, she knows that I can't abide that sort of do. At least one of us knows our responsibilities. Sebastian likes to abandon our poor mother on her birthday. He's just jealous because I can stand up to her. <laughs> so what did you get her? <laughs> He'll have got one of his dreadful bands to sign some tatty score every year. Says it's a priceless souvenir. Poor woman. Mind you, what do you buy the woman who really does have everything? Well, they say a lady can never have too many scarves. Wouldn't know where to start. Back of the rack. Hmm? Less tatty. I should be going. Oh, yes, of course. So, uh, scarf, then. You can't go wrong. Thank you. Well, I'm sure I can. <laughs> Actually... What? Ah, oh, well, it, it... It wouldn't be fair of me. Go on. Well, I'm not really terribly au fait with the world of women's scarves, and you'd be doing me a terrific favour if you were to come along. Some jobs need a woman's touch. I'd be delighted. Marvellous. You really are an incredible woman, Deborah. Deborah. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Perfectly fine. Who's my next client? Miss Coleman. She's come to collect Sam. Anna, I need uh, to pop out later. I'm not sure how long I'll be. Uh, fine, no problem. Thanks for asking. Oh, Sammy, thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's been a little star, haven't you, Sam? Thanks, Claire. Um, he's had a painkilling injection, and I'll give you a course of antibiotics. Poor little Sammy. He's very lucky. The main blood vessels run in the same direction as the cuts, and he missed them all. And Mummy's thrown the nasty shredder away. <laughs> you could have just unplugged it. Oh, yeah. It was covered in blood anyway. The stitches are dissolvable. But I'd still like to see him in a few days just to check everything's healing properly. Thanks. It's OK. Have you seen what Deborah's wearing today? Oh, well, she always thought she was a cut above. And now she's spending so much time with Willie Montgomery. Mm. Good luck to him. And all that sail on him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You're looking very nice. Did you want something, Richard? Doing something special? That's none of your business. I think you should know people are talking about you. Everybody knows you're working for Montgomery. Really, Richard, is that what they think? Well, for your information, I'm just helping out a friend. Not that that's any of your business either. In fact, if I didn't know you better, I think you were jealous. Only trying to look out for you. Well, that's not really your job anymore, is it? Michael Jenkins. Head drop! Slam down! Uh, no, stop it. No more wrestling. Out of the kitchen, please. For God's sake, Jake! Watch where you're going! Mummy! I need to scream at him. Well, can't you keep him under control? That's nice. Now, don't start. It would go with that shirt. Uh, you're incorrigible. I'm supposed to be looking for a scarf. Well, there's no harm in treating yourself now and then. No, I'm staying focused. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, I'm sorry if he hurt you, but... No, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shouted at him like that. 
I'm going to go make up with him. Uh, no, he can wait. You've been in edge for the last few days now. I'm worried about you. I'm fine, really. Look, Sarah, please. Tell me what it is. I slept with Sebastian. What? Oh, my God. Please, please don't ever go with me. I hate myself enough as it is. Right. Ladies scarves. I'm going to hold you personally responsible if I even look at anything else. <laughs> How did it happen? I don't know. It was just after I found out about you telling Adrian. And... I felt betrayed. And Sebastian was nice to me. everything you've been through. That's exactly why I'm saying it. This might sound a bit odd, but... There are days when I wish that I hadn't found out about Tom and Fiona. I mean, we were happy. Oh, don't say that. That makes me feel like it's all my fault that you and Tom split up. Oh, don't be silly. I worked it out myself. Now I'm as bad as her, aren't I? I'm a hypocrite. Sarah. You were vulnerable. You made a mistake. You don't need to ruin your whole life over it. Well, what if he finds out? He won't. Think about it. Sebastian's not going to tell him and I'm not, so who else is? Just me. I don't feel like I've got guilty tattooed on my forehead. Yeah, well, you haven't. And you've got a chance to be happy. So just not say anything? Pretend nothing's happened? I'm not sure I can do that. We love each other. That's all that really matters. I hope it's not too fussy. Oh, oh she likes a fuss. I'm sure it'll be perfect. Do you fancy a nice cup of tea? Oh, thank you, yes. You know, if you don't mind me saying... Go on. Well, you're very together for a woman in the throes of a marriage breakup. I have to be strong for Harriet. So, now I thought what Rick did to you was awful. Sorry, I'm being intrusive, aren't I? Not at all. It was the lying that hurt the most. That and the realisation that the man I married wasn't who I thought he was. Probably never had been. Do you think you'll marry again? Oh, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Well, you mustn't rule it out completely, you know. We've got far too much to offer. Where do we get this tea, then? I suppose I shall have to avoid the cakes with this dinner tonight. Where does your mother live? Still on the estate. She keeps a very close eye on things. Like tonight, it may be billed as a dinner, but it usually turns into an interrogation about estate business. In fact, why don't you come along? <coughs> If you're not busy, that is. Won't she mind? Of course not. Why would she? Hi, love. Just got back. Yeah. You must be hungry. I'll go in. Can it just wait a second, please? Sure. We didn't exactly get off to the best start, me and you, did we? Well, no. It's not exactly been easy. Do you still love me? Yeah. I do. You know I do. Sarah? 
No, I wouldn't. But I want this to work. I want our marriage to work. So do I. I just... I just want you to know how sorry I am for everything. It doesn't matter. We can start again. We can be good together. Oh, I love you, Adrian Hubie. Are you sure I look all right? A million dollars, Mum. I'll get it. Good evening, Harriet. Uh, Mum's just coming. Right. OK. Uh, how are you? Fine, thanks. Actually, Mum likes people to take off their shoes. Oh, right. Uh... <laughs> William, what are you doing? Oh, I thought... Really, do come in. Uh... It's only when Harriet's friends turn up looking like they've been in a rugby match. Mum! And that's the girls. Oh, this is uh, for allowing me to steal your mother for the evening. Mint! Oh, you didn't need to do that, Harriet. Uh, thank you, Lord Montgomery. Uh, William, please. If it's all right. Well, you look fantastic. Thank you. Shall we? What? Go to... Oh. Well, <laughs> 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 the, the merchant lady's got a lot to ask for us. <laughs> Lovely meal, Alicia. Thank you. Shame Sebastian couldn't make it. I know. Some dreadfully boring meeting in London. <laughs> We'd make the hunt. I expect so, yes. Yeah, the bloody Sabs were out in force last Here week. Here we go. Oh, if they're only in it to cause trouble. Oh, change the record, Charles. True. Be off smashing phone boxes if there weren't any hunts. Sleep. Really? Wouldn't you say? I suppose so. But then perhaps it's down to us to do more. How do you mean? Well, I expect most of it's down to a simple lack of understanding. We need to try and educate people about country life, don't we? Well said. Well said. Do you know I actually caught them on my own? No, don't listen to him. You know what? It's just awful. It's true. It's true. It's true. to make it better, is it? Please, Claire, I am so sorry. I'm not sure I can do this anymore. What do you mean? You hit me, Rick. Yeah, and it's unforgivable, but I swear to you, I will never, ever... What, you'll never do it again? I know what it sounds like, but you've got to believe me. I don't know what's happening. I have never hit a woman before. I am not like that. Well, it's a bit late to say that now. Yes, but you have to understand, I can't bear the thought of losing you. I worry that you're going to get bored or, or find someone else. I can't live like that. No one can. You have got to know how much I love you. And I love you, Rick. So we can work through it. But it's not that easy. It is. No, you've changed. You used to make me feel so special. But now you just try to control me and you show me no respect and you that do. is not how relationships work. I'm sorry. You always are. And it's not enough. I want you to go.
Well, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow now. Let's hope Sebastian makes it back from his meeting. I knew he wouldn't dare tell her the truth. Which is? He's gone off with some ex-girlfriend. I don't understand why I'd want to miss out. Neither do I. Although, to be fair, Mother's dinner parties can be a little on the tedious side. I rather liked her. It's more her friends, really, Charles in particular. About time somebody stood up to him. I hope I wasn't awfully rude. Not at all. You really brighten things up. I think you're what the estate's been missing. How do you feel about spending more time there? Perhaps we could talk about it tomorrow, after the hunt. Well, thank you again. Oh, it's been a wonderful evening. A while ago you asked me for a divorce. The answer's yes. We need to get undercover. You never said it involved running. Uh, where's your sense of adventure? Oh. What on earth? Well, we need to do things properly. Ooh. Oh. Malaclava. You don't want to get spotted, do you? You haven't got much time. And what's that? Look, do you want to do this or not? I'm here, aren't I? It's citronella. It masks the scent of the fox. Just spray all round here. I'm going to check the earth. Just spray round here, all round here.
Murdered lamb! Just leave it! I can't get hurt! Clear the hounds! Margaret! You have absolutely no right to be here! I'm sorry, all right? This dog swallowed its tongue. Uh, can you hold its head for me, please? I know you. I want you off my land, now. I'm sorry. I've got a duty of care, and this dog has been seriously injured. Hello, is that Sarah? Yeah, I'm bringing a dog in. Well, I think he's going to have to have an operation, yeah. You're going to regret this. At least you did the right thing. OK, thanks, mate. There we go, thank you. You're bleeding. I think that's the least of my problems. For what it's worth, I thought you were really brave. Oh, Sarah, thanks for coming back. What happened? He was kicked by a horse and he was choking on his tongue and I think he's got abdominal injuries. Okay, let's get him straight through. Right. Oh, damn, is that suction working? Just about. What are you doing anyway? Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a massive tear in the lover. You made it sound like it was going to be a bit of fun. It's too fragile. The sutras are tearing through. You've got to save him. I'm doing my best. Arterial forceps. Oh, sorry, love. Another. Okay, how's his colour? Pale. Right, we can just get one of them. Oh, hell. What? I'm going to have to breathe for him. For that, he's breathing. It's shallow, but it'll do. Okay, come on. We've got to get the rest of these stitches in. Right. It's a man. I don't have a clue. Not for me, thank you. What's it, please? Oh. It's dangerous, isn't it? No, thank you. You don't mind me stealing her for a moment, Not do you? Not at all, my man. Do help yourself. I'm just going off, and I just wanted to uh, say goodbye. Well, it was lovely seeing you again. And you. My son seems very fond of you. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I do. I don't feel I've thanked you properly for last night. Nonsense! It was a lovely evening. Yes, it was, wasn't it? You must make sure that William brings you back. Oh, well, that would be lovely. In fact, I'm hosting a beach lunch, and I'm thirsty. Why don't you join us? Absolutely, yes. It's about time if I'm a decent woman. Not grilling you too much, I trust. <laughs> Not at all. I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to talk. Oh, it's all right. It's not really the best time for it, is it? No. Perhaps I'd better be going, if that's all right. Yes, of course. I'll show you to your car. Just wanted to give you this. A little thank you. Open it. Oh, William. It's beautiful. Perfect. I told you it suited you, didn't I? Do I look all right?
thank you again, particularly for today. You've been marvellous. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I was going to say... Uh, sorry, darling. I just wondered where you've gone. I won't be long, Mother. Um, yes. Sorry, I'll, um... I'll be in in a minute. Right. Right. Now, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yes. Bye, William. Bye, Deborah. Good night. Actually, I think another time might be better, don't you? Yes, of course. Sorry. I should think so. It was Ellen. He just went mad. Well, all I can say is perhaps you need to find a more suitable way of finding a prospective partner. <sighs> Internet dating, indeed. And it cost me 20 quid subscription. Then let that be a lesson to you. William. Morning, Deborah. Have you come to see about Billy? He's doing ever so well. I thought I might uh, catch you before surgery and... Um... Perhaps we could have a word outside. Can I leave you to sort the hound out? No problem, Liam. He's not a bad sort, you know. You'll be all right. Oh, I hope so. So, uh, how's my hound? Billy. He's ready for home. Grace. Uh, listen, I've been thinking, um, only I'd like to thank you properly. Oh, there's no need. Perhaps I could take you out for a meal sometime? Well, go on then. Yeah, that would be really nice. <laughs> I'm sorry that things didn't quite go to plan on Saturday. I know you put a lot into it. Well, these things happen. And you've made such a difference at the estate, you know. Now, I've enjoyed getting to know you properly. You're an incredible woman, you know. <laughs> Don't be silly. You mustn't put yourself down. There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a few days now. Only it might cause a few problems. Things are rarely as difficult as one first imagines, William. Oh, yes, that's very true. Yes. I've already set the ball rolling with Richard. Richard? I've told him I wanted to... Oh, God. That's not what you meant at all, is it? Oh, no, I... I was hoping that you might come and work for me as my PA. Right. Right. I am so sorry, Deborah, if I gave you the wrong impression. The last thing I want to do is... Really? There's no need to explain. Are you all right? Yes, yes, it's... It's just... I think I should probably stay where I am. I wouldn't want to leave Anna and Sarah in the lurch. Oh, well, that's understandable. If there's anything I can... I hope we can see each other again soon. Let me take you out tonight. No. But there's something I need to tell you. I don't want to hear it. Please. Oh, for God's sakes, just say what you've got to say then. All right, all right, all right. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Claire. I want you to marry me. not a doss house. At 
the uni family are going to have to leave, or we are. This is Claudia Williams is the sole owner of the contents of this house. You've got a daughter who's pining for you. You can't afford to pay her school fees and a harlot you left her for won't commit to you. To us? To us. I want us to be a proper family like you said. I'm not going to be mucked around any longer. It's time to move on. Let the past go. Griff Reese jones explores the Lake District from top to bottom next in Mountain. Who's teaching who? Julie Walters and Michael Caine star educating Rita on two. And shiny new comedy over on BBC Three now with The Visit. <laughs>